Hello, Allendale first graders. It's Mrs. Mrs. Croissant here with our last chapter of our read aloud. And before we get started, I just wanted to say what a joy it's been reading to you. It's one of my favorite things we do in the classroom. I love introducing you to new books and new authors, new characters. It hasn't been the same doing it this way, but it's better than nothing. I just wanted you to know that I think about you guys all the time. I miss you all very much. I hope to see you soon. I hope you all have a great summer, and I'll see you back in the fall, hopefully. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started on our last chapter. We are on chapter 10. We are reading Saber Sunset of the Sabertooth. Jack and Annie have had quite an adventure. And they are back in the tree. It has started to spin, which we know by now means that they will land back in Pennsylvania. Chapter 10, This Age. Birds sang. The air was soft and warm. I hope they find their coats, said Annie. Me too, said Jack. He pushed, pushed his glasses into place. Hey, you! How did you find the sorcerer? Annie asked Peanut. Squeak! That's a secret, huh? Said Annie. She turned to Jack. Where's the flute? He held up the mammoth bone. Then he placed it on the M carved into the floor. Next. To the mango from the rainforest next to the moonstone from the time of the ninjas. Moonstone, mango, mammoth bone, said Annie. We just need one more M thing. Then Morgan will be free from her spell. <sighs> Tomorrow, said Jack. Annie patted Peanut on the head. <laughs> Bye, you, she said. She started down the rope ladder. Jack gathered his things. He paused and glanced at the mouse. She stared at him with big brown eyes. Thanks again for helping us, he said. Then he climbed down the rope ladder and jumped onto the ground. Jack and Annie ran through the Frog Creek woods onto their street. Their neighbors... Their neighborhood looked rosy in the sunset. <sighs> it's great to be back in this age. Jack thought, warm and safe and almost home. I'm glad we don't have to go hunting for dinner, he said. <sighs> yeah, Mom and Dad already did that, said Annie, at the supermarket. I hope they trapped some spaghetti and meatballs, said Jack. I hope they trapped pizza. <laughs> hurry i'm starving said jack they ran up their sidewalk and through their front door we're home shouted annie what's for dinner shouted jack thank you boys and girls for reading along with me the magic treehouse series i do love this i read the entire series to my children when they were growing up it's a fun book Jack and Annie are great little characters, and their adventures they go on are so fun. You can continue reading this series or even check out the books that we didn't get a chance to read because I didn't have them. If the libraries open up this summer, this could be a fun thing for some of you to look into doing. All right, boys and girls, thanks again. Have a wonderful summer, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.